So today we are playing PES 2021 once again because Data Pack 6 apparently has brought in some Euro content. So I thought today would be the right time to get into the Euro spirit and check out its Euro 2020 DLC. It's probably been in the game since the start, but Data Pack 6 does update a few things. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe as well. It's completely free and you get tons of value, so please do so. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some fee for coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. Now, according to the Pez Twitter, we're going to be getting the full UEFA match day branding, which is going to look nice, and also 24 licensed national teams, which is all the teams in the competition, which is also pretty nice, and five Euro stadiums as well. Wembley Stadium, Foosball Arena, Amsterdam Arena, Gazprom Arena, and Stadio Olimpico. And there's also the ball, obviously, and some player face updates and appearance updates for some players as well. And, of course, the official trophy as well. So, we're going to take a look at this. I think we've got it here, Euro 2020. I think that's the one. We're going to play on top player. Number of users, match time, 7 minutes, just to keep it quick. Alright, so you get the Euro branding in the menu overlay, which is nice. And I don't want to play Superstar, I think that would be too much. We'll do top player. And we can select a team here. I'm probably going to be England because I've got a lot of English viewers. And the group stage is here. So it looks like the official group stage is here. Obviously, Group F looks pretty strong. Portugal, France, Germany. That's going to be tough. Group of death there. I can't wait for this, man. I can't wait to watch the games, even though they're going to be like 2 a.m. my time anyway. But I just feel like a bit of international football, man. I feel like it. Anyway, England has Croatia, Scotland, and Czech Republic, and uh, pretty much this is what you do. You just play through, so you've got the forward time, game plan information, and system. There's no qualifying stages. It's uh, reminding me of their 2016 DLC. To be honest, I used to like them more when they would um, actually make proper games. Not, not Konami, but when EA used to make the proper games that you could buy at the shops and stuff. But this England team looks pretty strong, can't really fault it. Uh, maybe I have to pull Rashford over Sterling. And um, that's about it, man. So you just play the games, and we'll probably play right now. And if you have Xbox Game Pass as well, uh, Pez is on there for free. So make sure you check it out. You can download it, and uh, that will give you access to this as well. But that's only if you've got Xbox Game Pass. So yeah, you do get the proper kits with the whole UEFA branding on it, which is nice. And uh, Croatia's one looking pretty solid too. So we'll do that. And the stadiums, I've got to check that. So Stadio Olimpico is going to be for this one. And let's just play this game, see what it's all about. So look at that. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. But I um, actually went to Rome once. And uh, here we go. England versus Croatia. Stadio Olimpico. And we've got a tunnel cutscene here. Pretty sure that's standard for Pez. And the players will be walking out. Can't post any anthems if there is. I think because of copyright. But you can see that you've got the Euro match day experience there. You've got the banners around the stadium. You've got the things on the floor. The referees as well. Very, very nice stuff. Let's play this game. England versus Croatia. Wasn't this uh, one of the World Cup games a couple years ago? Here's Chilwell. I think I see Sancho making a run. Actually, we're going to find Kane. No, we can't. Now we might. Nice through ball here into Sancho. It's going to be through on goal here. Sancho, oh my goodness. First minute, we've got the goal. And it's Jaden Sancho. Maybe we should have played on a uh, superstar difficulty. That's a good start. I play better on Pez than I do on FIFA. Got a bit lucky there. The ball found, uh, I think it was one of our midfielders there. I can't remember who. Played it to Sancho, and of course, nice finish there. Here we go, through ball up. And could be a nice chance here for Croatia if they play their cards right. They have a long shot, and Pickford's got it pretty easily. So you've also got the official uh, sponsors there. You can see TikTok as the sponsor. By the way, follow me at Apex Karma on TikTok. But um, yeah, you've got Hisense, TikTok, all the, the sponsors for this event, I believe. So it's pretty good stuff there too. Gives you that Euro feeling. But obviously, if you're expecting like qualifying and other features, then you're not going to get that. It's pretty much exhibition matches and a couple stadiums and stuff and uh, the tournament mode. I don't even think you can actually add national teams in like as replacements. I think you just have to play the standard tournament. Vlasic, Croatia, they, they started pretty bad, but now they are holding the ball, keeping possession. Looks like they woke up. Still 1-0 down though. They play down the right, keeping possession well, just working it very slowly, very patiently, looking for that gap, and uh, unfortunately, they're not going to score from there. So here we go, right before half time, can Croatia score a goal? They're going to whip it in here, Pektovic, plays it inside, long shot, ooh, blocked. Come on, ref, you got to blow for half time, mate, we're three minutes over. There we go. So we survived the first half, early, early goal from Sancho, still another 45 to play. 
Gonna play it up here. Rebic. And that's a nice pass. Keeper's coming out. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. It was, it was long overdue, to be honest. They were playing good ever since we scored. Got support down the left here. Nice pass over the top. And we're looking for Kane. Oh, my goodness. What is he trying to do there? And we're looking for a couple guys in the middle, and we just can't get anything. Henderson picks it up again. Barkley. Rashford has a hit. Rashford, oh my goodness. Caught the keeper off guard. Almost snuck it in. Overall, the gameplay, to be honest, has been all right. You know, I don't know if Konami nerfed anything with this update. Overall, it's been fine. Like, no real issues. Sometimes you notice, like, delays. They get stuck in animations and stuff. I know it's only been one game, but... I don't really notice anything too dodgy at the moment. Going to go down the right. No offsides on throw-ins. Play through the gap. Henderson lays it off. Declan Rice is going to have a hit. Nice volley. Good save by the keeper. Down the right. Here we go. Ball inside. Looking for Harry Kane. Kane. Oh, he almost got there. Oh, no. They pass it straight to Rashford. And unfortunately, the ball just goes out of his reach. Here's Perisic. We just really haven't kept much possession here. And they cross it in. Oh, no, what a ball. Oh, what a save. No, the stupid rebounds again. Oh. Just as I was saying that the game didn't have any issues, we get those stupid rebounds again. Let's see if the keeper should have done better. So they cross it in. Beautiful cross. No one's marking him. And Pickford just lays it to him on a platter. I thought this was going to be an easy game, but it turns out that it, it went the opposite way for me. It's not over yet, though. We could grab a goal back. Chilwell. Through the legs. Nice passing. It's going to run again. Nice. Got Harry Kane in the middle. Whip it in. Kane. Oh, he had his head there. And uh, Henderson doesn't want it. Going to go down the right. If we're going to score, we're going to score from a Kane header probably. Sancho. Henderson. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Chip it over the top. Kane is there. No. We get it back. Rashford. Skips past a few guys. It's offside there. Play it back. Get rid of it. Henderson. Ah, too slow. Don't put slow players in pairs. It doesn't work. But to be honest, Croatia have been the better team. I thought it was going to be an easy game because we scored early. But they turned it around. And they beat us today. There's no time unless we can just quickly launch one. No, nah, no time today. Going to suffer a 2-1 defeat. But that is your Euro experience in pairs. As usual with these DLCs, they're definitely fun to play a couple times, you know, with the tournaments and stuff. But you might get bored after a while. So you can play exhibition matches. If we go to local mode, yep, you can definitely do that. So you don't have to just play a tournament. You can play kickoff with your national teams. So in exhibition mode, you can pick from a lot of European nations. I don't know if you can add these into the actual tournament mode, but you can play kickoff matches. Now, I'm sure you can pick from different stadiums, yep. So we've got St. Petersburg. Johan Cruyff, eFootball Stadium. We've got the Bayern Munich Stadium, Wembley Stadium, Study Olympico. So there's a couple there to pick from if you want to do that. Now, Konami says that they updated Ronaldo. So that's what he looks like on the left. And also Griezmann, a couple other players as well. So we're going to see what Griezmann looks like. So yeah, you get the actual ball, which is nice. And uh, that's pretty much standard stuff these days, isn't it? And let's take a look at Ronaldo very quickly. They said they updated him. Now, you also get the UEFA captain's armband. You get the badges. And you also get the European Champions badge there. Look at that for Portugal. Because they won it in 2016. Now the other players get a standard uh, Euro 2020 badge there on the shoulder. And also the Respect badge. Let's go and have a look at uh, Griezmann. There we go. He's got like that man bun thing. I don't know what you call it. But that's pretty much your uh, Euro DLC for PES 21. Let me know what you think if you're going to be trying it out yourself. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe as well. It always helps when you do that. And please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.